Let's look at another example. x times x plus 1 divided by dx plus x times y equals 1, where the initial condition is y at e equals 1. We write it in the standard form. dy by dx plus 1 over x plus 1 times y equals 1 over x times x plus 1. So we get px or the coefficient of the y is 1 over x plus 1. The function fx is 1 over x times x plus 1. The integrating factor mu equals e to the integral px dx or e to the integral 1 over x plus 1 dx and gives us e to the natural log absolute value of 1 over x plus 1. It tells us we get 1 over x plus 1 as the mu or the integrating factor. So the general solution, y equals 1 over mu integral mu times f of x dx plus c or 1 over 1 over x plus 1 integral 1 over x plus 1 times f of x which is 1 over x times x plus 1 dx plus c. Let's look at another example of the linear equation. And this is the initial value problem. First, write it as the standard form. So dy by dx plus 1 over x plus 1 times y equals 1 over x times x plus 1, where the px is 1 over x plus 1 and the fx is 1 over x times x plus 1. Next, we find the integrating factor. Integrating factor mu is e to the integral px dx, or e to the integral 1 over x plus 1 dx. Integral of 1 over x plus 1 is natural log absolute value of x plus 1 or we get x plus 1. The absolute value can be omitted since the initial condition at e which is positive x value. Next, substitute in the formula to get the general solution. So y equals 1 over mu multiplied by integral mu times f of x dx plus c. The 1 over mu or 1 over x plus 1 multiplied by integral mu, which is the quantity x plus 1. The f of x is 1 over x times x plus 1 dx plus c x plus 1, x plus 1 reduce. So the integrand becomes just 1 over x with respect to x plus c.
the integral 1 over x gives us natural log absolute value of x, we can omit the absolute value also since the initial condition occurs at x equals e or in a positive x value. So plus c or y equals 1 over x plus 1 times natural log x plus c. With the initial condition, y at e equals 1. We're going to find c. y equals 1, x equals e. Natural log of e is 1. So we get, we multiply both sides by e plus 1. So e plus 1 equals 1 plus c or c equals e. That means the particular solution y equals 1 over x plus 1 times natural log x plus e or y equals natural log x over x plus 1 plus e over x plus 1. Next, we consider the transient term. There are two terms. For the limit of natural log x over x plus 1, as x approaches infinity will be zero. You can use the little bit tau as the derivative of the numerator, we get one over x, derivative of the denominator, we get one, or we find the limit of one over x, which approaches zero. So this term is the transient term. Next, the limit of e over x plus 1 as x approaches infinity will give you 0 as well. So the transient term will be both terms, natural log x over x plus 1 and the term e over x plus 1. Therefore, eventually or in the long term, the solution y will approach 0.